Good afternoon, everyone. Um, well, we have seen a lot of presentations uh, made by experts, and this is more of a student perspective. So uh, in this talk, I'm going to um, discuss the subsynchronous oscillations uh, that happen with the uh, type 3 wind farms and uh, MMC-based HVDC system. Well, I'm going to follow this plan, so brief introduction at first, then the overview of the system, where the oscillations happen, then we're going to demonstrate the subsynchronous oscillations and do some analysis that will give us some hints about why this happens, and in the end we'll do some conclusions. So as a brief introduction, subsynchronous oscillations in power systems is, well, generally can be said it's an energy exchange between different parts of the system that happens below the grid frequency, and usually it is an undesirable phenomenon because it can cause over currents, over voltages, it can cause equipment damage, uh, protection system operation or misoperation, and etc. It is usually associated with uh, different types of uh, uh, elements. So, for example, you can have energy exchange between inductance and capacitance in compensated networks, between mechanical systems and electrical systems. Also, with the advent of uh, power electronic based converters, you can have a lot of control system interactions as well involved. So uh, in this case study, uh, we are working with a such system where, well, if you go from um, left to right, there is a wind farm um, based on a, um, type three uh, generator, the transmission grid and an HVDC that provides uh, the voltage reference for the grid, it's the offshore grid, and the HVDC transmission that is connected to an onshore AC source. Uh, the nominal frequency here is 50 hertz, and uh, we will see that uh, the control system will have an impact on the subsynchronous oscillations. So if we take a closer look at the uh, system itself, let's start with the wind farm. So it's a double fed induction generator. We use in this simulation average value model, and uh, this is an aggregated model of a wind park. So uh, you have 100 uh, smaller size uh, wind turbines with 1.67 MVAs. Well, we use constant wind speed and uh, two mass mechanical motor. So one part is uh, turbine and the other one is generator. And for the control part, uh, there is an AC-DC-AC -AC converter um, that uh, uses standard cascade control structure. So the current, inner current control loop and the external loop for uh, DC voltage control or uh, MPPT for the uh, wind farm side. Um, it uses uh, decoupled uh, DQ control. So as for the MMC, uh, that is uh, the basis for the HVDC link. Uh, well, a couple of words about it. So the structure is shown on the right, and uh, it is a let's say most recent type of HVDC converters that is. Uh, well, it has many benefits compared to the traditional ones to level three level converters. Lower switching frequency, lower losses, lower harmonic content. But on the contrary, the structure is uh, more complicated. So in these simulations, uh, I was using 200 uh, submodules, so 201 levels. Arm equivalent model mostly. And well, the power was 200 MVAs. Uh, again, this uh, converter also used the standard cascade control two loops, inner current control, and external control for power voltage uh, reference. Uh, contrary to the previous one, uh, here uh, current control is done in the uh, alpha beta frame, so it uses proportional resonant controller. And also, for MMCs, you usually use circulating current suppression because, uh, well, if you just apply uh, standard control, there is second harmonic circulating current that appears, so you have to take special care about it. And uh, a couple of words about controls. So uh, the MMC that is connected to the AC grid side, it controls the DC voltage of the link and the reactive power. And well, yeah, the current control is proportional resonant. The one that is connected to the wind farm side, uh, it provides the AC voltage to the grid. So it, the grid forming controller, as we were discussing previously. Uh, so voltage and frequency are said to be constants. And uh, uh, another specialty of this uh, control system is that 
you can deactivate the circulating current suppression. So we will see how this impacts uh, the subsynchronous oscillations. And uh, well, here in the bottom you can see the figure that shows the well overview of the control structure. Uh, 